Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Star Wars Black Series action figure of Shin Hati from Ahsoka. Shin and Balin were two characters that I really, really liked in Ahsoka, so I'm very happy that Hasbro decided to make an action figure of Shin in the Black Series, but there are some pros and some cons, so let's just dive right on in. Um, I think her head is interesting in that uh, it doesn't look like it's a perfect 3D scan the way some others uh, look and, and when they, you know, print essentially the, the paint scheme onto the, the figure, it really looks like the actor. In this case, I don't totally see the likeness. Uh, certainly not in the eyes, but I do think it's interesting that they included the three, like, little moles on her face. Uh, the hair is a good sculpt on the hair, but it's just so yellow. It's just so plain. This should have a wash to it. Not a heavy wash, but something that at least darkens the roots a bit. Um, Black series has been pretty detailed in the last few years, and, and I dig that, but this lacks a certain detail that's, I don't want to say disappointing, but to me it's not up to snuff. Also not up to snuff is the front, like, chest part of her shirt. This should also have a wash. It does feel just like one solid plastic color and just like a little darkening wash over that would really match her look in the show considerably. Uh, the rest of the paint though is pretty solid as far as the flow of her like tunic and uh, the sculpt and paint on like her her legs, especially the little metal shin things. Uh, I think that's like a metallic dry brush. I'm not sure, but either way that metallic paint that's on the edges of things, on the on the arm pieces and the leg pieces, looks really, really good. Um, as far as the paint on the belt, they, they managed to get the little circular thing just right. Again, here's a closer look at some of the side pieces there. Uh, the sculpt on the, the work on the back looks good. Comes with one accessory. Lightsaber. Paint on the lightsaber is pretty good. And like usual, the blade is removable so that you can hook the hilt onto uh, the little hook on her her outfit there. Um, I do, I don't know if I, I don't like soft goods, so I don't want to say I wish she came with her, her robe, her cloak, but it does feel like she's missing something by not having her robe slash cloak. Um, I know Hasbro sometimes does sculpted stuff like that, which would make me happy. Um, in this case, though, it, I don't know. I wish, I wish she had something, at least something optional. Now, one thing that does bug me about Hasbro for years and years and years and years, and they keep doing it, trigger finger hands on characters that don't come with guns. Like, what is with that? If you want to see a review where like every single joint gets wiggled and all that, I'm not really big on highlighting articulation, but I will say the articulation on this is pretty solid as far as getting her to stand, shoulder movement, wrist movement, all that sort of stuff. Um, her presence on the shelf does look pretty cool. I still can't help but wonder what it would be like if they'd included a robe. Um, I, I think it's great that they got her lightsaber color pretty accurate. It's like a, it's an orangish red, and uh, I still think without the robe, this looks pretty good on the tabletop, on the shelf. The presence is nice. Um, gotta get her to lean back a little bit so she doesn't look so hunchy. There we go. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this figure, and if you want to be up to date with all my latest reviews, be sure to click subscribe.